welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to do my makeup at a normal speed no sped up video this time round if you haven't seen my other sped up videos check them in the description box below and also i think they'll come after this video make sure you check them out so i'm just starting off with concealer so in this step, I'm concealing my eyelids and I'm also defining my eyebrows using the same same concealer. This concealer is about three shades lighter than my skin tone. But I love it because it makes the eyeshadow be visible and the eyeshadow to look better. For this next step, I'm just blending out the concealer to make sure that it's nicely blended. Pay no attention to the kind of brush that I'm using because this is the wrong brush for this job. However, it does the job, so I'm using it. I did give a false promise that this video won't be sped up. Unfortunately, there are some parts that have to be sped up because it was way too long. Bear with me. So we're just going to put on our eyeshadow and I chose a reddish shade because I don't know why I always go for red, but I love red. So I'm just putting it in my crease. And also in the corner of my eye. I'm now taking a golden yellow shade and just applying it all over my eyelid in the like mm, lower inner corner eyelid. Next, I'm just using this brush to blend it all out so that it transitions well into the next shade and doesn't have harsh lines. Make sure that your eyeshadow is well blended. For this step, I'm just putting my foundation on a beauty blender. A beauty blender is basically just a sponge, honestly. And I'm just going to apply it all over my face. Minus the eyes, of course.
for this step i'm just taking another shade of concealer and concealing my eye bags <laughs> eye bags and also um i'm going to like reverse conceal i i don't know what to call it but i'm going to conceal my below my cheekbones because i already have prominent cheekbones so i don't need concealer there And I'm just going to use a beauty blender again to blend it all out. Here I'm just taking the golden shade and applying it on my lower eyelid. This is not necessary, however, this is just how I do my makeup, so I'm used to it. I'm just going to take my mascara and apply my upper and lower lashes. Never forget the lower lashes because it makes a difference. False eyelashes in this era are like water, so I'm going to take my false eyelashes and I'm going to pop them on. I never use tweezers, I just use my hands because that's what I trust, but I believe you can use any of them, tweezers or fingers. Most of the time when false eyelashes give us a headache to put on, it's usually because we are not patient enough to wait for the glue to become sticky. So make sure that your glue is sticky before you put them on. Don't put them on when the glue is still in liquid form. I've just taken some loose powder, you can also use a pressed powder for this step just to set my concealer so I'm just uh, dabbing it on in the areas that I concealed. 
and basically all over my face i'm not just dabbing it on on the areas that i concealed so just see where you feel that you need to set your makeup or your foundation and apply the first powder As the powder is setting, I, I'm going to put on my lipstick and I just chose, uh, this is, these are two lipsticks that I blended together in another video. There's a video that I did on a makeup hack. I don't know whether I've already posted it, but I'll link it down below if I've already posted it. Uh, where I mixed two different shades of lipsticks together because they were over. So I melted them together and I came out with this shade. So I'm just applying it all over my lips. For this step, I'm just applying another shade of red, a lighter shade of red than the previous lipstick. So now let's get rid of all the pressed powder that we had applied previously, so I'm just trying to remove it. For highlighter, I normally just use anything that is readily available, be it a brush, be it my fingers. So for this, I've just used my fingers and I'm going in with a contour shade uh, just to create the contour. I also normally contour my lips as you can see I normally put uh, two lines uh, between the cupid's bow so I applied two lines using the contour shade and then I put a highlighter in between the two lines so that the cupid's bow can be enhanced
So this is the final result of the makeup that I've just done. If you like it, make sure that you like this video and you comment down below. If you've reached this point in the video, I appreciate it so, so much. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, give me a comment down below if you enjoyed the video and give this video a like. I'll truly appreciate it. Uh, check out my other social media pages, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Instagram, and whatever, and TikTok. I'm there, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Be blessed, be blessed, and be blessed again.